So I finally got my brand new Ryzen CPU up and running. But what do I do now? Let's take a look at what you should do with your new Ryzen processor after installing Windows on your brand new gaming PC. The first thing you want to do, and this is pretty typical for anyone with a new system, is downloading the latest motherboard drivers. And jumping over to your motherboard manufacturer site, you'll find the latest and most recent driver for things like audio, LAN, and BIOS, and so forth. But even the chipset driver is usually also available here. Although it is strongly recommended that you're downloading that from the AMD site to guarantee that you're getting the latest driver available. Now before we move to AMD's website, while we're at the motherboard vendor driver page, you want to make sure to download and install the necessary stuff here before we proceed. And again guys, audio and LAN drivers are usually the two most important ones. One more thing before we head over to AMD, I highly recommend running Windows Update and simply let it download everything. And again, this is before we install the chipset driver. And the reason for this is that depending on the version of Windows that you got installed, some drivers require certain versions of Windows to simply unlock all its features. For example, you need to be on Windows 1903 update in order to unlock the so-called Ryzen scheduler, for example. Now while you're running the Windows Update tool, you're going to notice that there's going to be several restarts during this process. Now depending on your internet speed, this could take anywhere from 25 minutes to over an hour. Now you essentially want to work your way through everything on this list until it finally says you're up to date. Now it is finally time to head over to AMD.com and install the chipset driver. And you want to click on drivers and support located on the upper right side corner. Scroll down a bit and select chipsets followed by AMD socket AM4. And I'm currently using and demonstrating on the Gigabyte B450M. So I'm going to select the um, B450M chipset and then you simply just click submit. Now AMD provides something very useful in their chipset drivers called Balance Power Plan, which uh, essentially is a power plan for Windows 10 that is optimized specifically for Ryzen processors. Now, when the first lineup of Ryzen CPUs launched back in 2017, important performance optimizations were missing from Windows and that essentially hindered the Ryzen CPUs to perform at its optimal performance and so this power plan is very important to get the most out of your new gaming system. If you're getting any value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to never miss any of my upcoming gaming PC builds. So after you went through all of these steps, I highly recommend activating the so-called XMP profile on your memory sticks, which uh, yeah isn't active by default. We want to reboot our system into what's called our motherboard UEFI or BIOS and this can be done by simply holding down the shift key while restarting Windows. Now this is going to bring us up to our restart menu which will allow us to tell the system to reboot right into the UEFI BIOS. Click on troubleshoot, advanced options, followed by UEFI firmware settings, followed by restart. And what this does is that it tells our system to go directly into BIOS without you having to mash the delete key up on startup. Now every motherboard vendor has their own sort of UEFI so things can look a little bit different here but you essentially want to look for something like overclock or overclocking or memory configuration and under DOCP or XMP you want to select the profile or speed that corresponds with your memory kit. Now by default our memory will run at 3133 which is the base rate for any DDR4 memory. Oh yeah we want to get the speed that we essentially paid for so in this case on this B450M gigabyte motherboard that I'm currently demonstrating on we head over to something called MIT and under extreme memory profile we see that it says disabled now again this may also say DOCP which uh, yeah basically means the same and yeah this is what you want to enable now we see that it sets our speed to 3200 and now our memory is going to run in the speed that you paid for 
And as we can see guys, this actually has a positive effect when gaming. Now, in order to test and verify that you know Ryzen CPU performs as it should, there is this nifty software called Cinebench that will push your processor to its full capacity, and after the test has been completed, you get a score that you can then compare with others. I have a link where you can download Cinebench down below. Now, if you want to go beyond this, and let's say you want to try overclocking, I recommend downloading AMD's own overclocking tool called Ryzen Master. This tool not only lets you adjust voltage and speed, it also shows temperatures and other very important metrics. Overclocking your processor will however break your warranty, so please be aware of that, and unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't really recommend overclocking as it's not really going to give you that much performance anyway. It is however still there if you want to give it a try. Now, if you got any value from this video, please make sure to smash the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to never miss any of my upcoming PC builds and don't forget to join the Discord server. In the meantime guys, thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, have an awesome day.